You got to recognize the fact that this is a godless country. I hate it. It's immoral. It's wrong. It's heinous. It's evil. But this is an evil country. And this country will surprise you with how evil it is. And that's why you got to get this out of your head that there is some silent majority cavalry that's going to come out of the woods and save us at the last minute. It's not. When we meet the left on the battlefield and they outnumber us like five to one, that's it. But the point is, when you look at these things like uh, abortion, it's popular. People like abortion. Hate it, but it's true. And you can thank the Jewish media for that. Abortion's popular. Sodomy's popular. You know, being gay is popular. Being a feminist is popular. Sex out of wedlock is popular. Contraceptives are It's all popular. That's all. That's not to say it's good. That's not to say I like that. Popular means the people support it, which they do. And, uh... And it sucks, and it is what it is, but that's why we need uh, dictatorship. <laughs> that's unironically why we need to get rid of all that. We need to take control of the media or take control of the government and force the people to believe what we believe or force them to play by our rules and reshape the society. You just listened to booger-eating Nazi Nick Fuentes call for a dictatorship following a disappointing election night for Republicans. Now, just to be clear, when I say that he's a booger-eating Nazi, I'm not making a reference to his age. Like, I'm not suggesting he's one of those snot-nosed kids because he's young. I call him a booger-eating Nazi because he quite literally ate a booger on a live stream, and I refuse to let him live that down. Now... What I've got to say is what he says here is not surprising if you followed what he said. So he has called for a situation in the U.S. for women's rights where it resembles the Taliban and their control of women in Afghanistan. He has compared himself to Hitler. And the problem with Nick Fuentes is even if he says outrageous things, he's openly anti-Semitic, the problem is is he still has some mainstream success. And that's kind of the whole ethos of his movement in particular. He's gotten politicians like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Paul Gosar to speak at his events. And he has the America First PAC, which is supposed to be competition to CPAC, because CPAC, according to him, is not far right enough. Imagine that. Imagine being so far gone that you are angry that CPAC isn't far enough to the right. Now, the Southern Poverty Law Center says this about him. Fuentes denounces mainstream conservative institutions, arguing that Christian Republican voters get screwed over because the GOP is run by Jews, atheists, and homosexuals. He has cited this as a justification for carving out his own alternative far-right coalition within them. Adherents of the so-called alt-right label took different tracks after that coalition collapsed, and Fuentes has become emblematic of the one that sought to mainstream recognition in that matter. While some former alt-right adherents gravitated toward terroristic white power accelerationism, Fuentes chose a different path. He has instead collaborated with elected officials and conservative activists to attempt to push the Republican Party and American political institutions into a more hard-right authoritarian ideological position. And in some ways, he's been able to do that. For example, Tucker Carlson, who is the most popular cable news show host, has been promoting the Great Replacement Conspiracy Theory now for a very long time. He's mentioned it, I think, over 100 times on his program. And in response to that, Nick Fuentes has said, hey, Tucker Carlson sounds like me. So his whole plan, little by little, is to have these ideas infiltrate the GOP and increasingly make them as radical as as he is. So it's not like this is some fringe individual who we have to brush aside because he's irrelevant. No, he actually is, unfortunately, politically relevant to an extent within the GOP, which is why we have to take what he says seriously, because it's not like what he's saying, this explicit call for a dictatorship is happening in a vacuum. There are more and more Republican pundits and politicians who are either explicitly or implicitly vocalizing their support for authoritarianism, be it through Trump election denialism or just them saying, I don't support democracy. Now, some of them will do a little bit of a teehee, I mean, because I support Republic instead. Get it? We're a republic, not a democracy, which for those of you who did not take political science 101, a republic is a type of democracy. But really, even if they try to hide the ball, the anti-democratic rhetoric that we're seeing on the right is something that is very, very alarming that we have to take seriously. So when individuals like this booger-eating Nazi Nick Fuentes 
say things like, well, you know, I get that abortion is popular and it's because of the Jewish media. Therefore, to do that, we take control of the media and install a dictatorship and make them believe what we believe. Um, that's not something that is just going to happen in a vacuum. It's going to spread, and his viewers will see that who vote for Republican. They will exert pressure on Republicans and get more mainstream success. I mean, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who is associated with him, or at least once was, she just won her reelection by a landslide. So it's not like voters are so turned off by these types of ideas, by politicians, you know, association with Nick Fuentes that they're they're losing their political careers. No. And that's how you kind of mainstream these white nationalist views. That's why he's successful. So that's why when he says things like this, even though it's just this one individual, don't underestimate his influence. Take these things very serious because they are serious. Anyone who explicitly calls for an end to U.S. democracy must be viewed as a threat. And we have to counter the things that they're saying, the influence that they have. And I'll leave that there.